はい、Good evening, everyone. こんばんは、飯田聡です。えっ、ー、と、今日はよろしくお願いします。はい、My name is 飯田聡 I'm、uh, looking forward to talking with everyone today. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you all for joining us. And、um, yeah, we're here again with the Ida family. And we, today we want to try out some sake with you all. Did anyone bring any sake of their own to try along with us? If not, that's okay. <laughs> It's quite early here. So we're getting started with some alcohol very early, but I'm really excited to try all the flavors today.、Um, yeah, so if you do have any, please feel free to get some and join us in our tasting today. So, the wonderfully unique thing about these sakes we're going to try today is that each one was brewed by. One of these siblings. So, we're going to have them introduce their special、uh, select sake that they created and tell us a little bit about the concept of their sake. Hi, Dewa. Ikaji さんから、お酒を紹介してもよろしいでしょうか。ありました。私の作ったお酒はこちらのえとピンク色のお酒になるんですが、えっと、ヤマハイ純米酒というお酒で、えー、と日本から昔からある伝統的なお酒作りの日本酒となっております。で、あ一回あそうですね、お願いします。はい、すみません。So, Jun, Mr. Jun here created this light and pink sake called Koi. The name is Koi. And it is a Yamahai Junmai sake.、Um, so, it is brewed a little bit differently than maybe most of the sake sold in America.、Um, But it has a long tradition. This, this sake、uh, creating process for Yamaha has a long tradition in Japan. The sake is a very good sake. 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 And wanted to create the flavor of a nice, sweet, and sour white wine. So it is a very delicious and refreshing taste. So, this is the first time. 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 Jumai sake. All right. Rakimas. Oh, oh, she, a party, so good. I know, skis, I know, Hontani, what other, I know, she don't wine, die day, I must buy, 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 ありがとうございます。リンゴさんっていうちょっとこうまた特殊な酸化出てまして、はい、ちょっとこうリンゴジュースのようなまあ甘酸っぱさもあり、白ワインのようなこう重厚さもある。こうなんか非常にこうバランスが取れたようなお酒なるほどね。それもはい、確かにあのそして、ね、味わえます、はい。はい、ありがとうございます。There's also tones of apple in here, which is、um, a very much a symbol of Nagano. So you can taste a little bit of hint of apple as well, which is so delicious. ありがとうございます。全部飲んでありがとうございます。美味しかったです。はい。では、はい。ありがとうございます。Okay, next, we will have Miss Miyuki introduce her sake to us. えっと、私が担当したお酒は、純米吟醸、炭というお酒になります。So the sake that Miss Miyuki made here、um, is a 純米吟醸 sake called 杉。Yes. こちらのお酒はあの甘すぎタイプで、あのコンセプトはえっとふんわりでお茶目なお酒にしました。<笑> so the concept for this sake, um, it's very, it's a sweet sake, sweet and light, and the concept for it was kind of a, a light, buoyant taste, um, similar to tea. So very refreshing. お酒をえっと作る段階で、あのアニメソングを聴かせて育てた日本酒になります。あ、oh, すごいですね。<笑> so this sake in particular that Yuki made、um, was made with a loving hand and while listening to anime songs. So, yeah, 
I think that will come through for me. I'm a big anime fan as well. So, hi. So, we're going to go ahead and try this one out. Okay, itadakimasu. Go ahead and try it. <laughs> so I can hear the, the anime song running through my head. Uh, no, it is very delicious. It's very, um, it is sweet. So it's not <laughs> so she said that letting the letting the sake listen to anime music as it's brewed and created really brings out a unique flavor to it. I think so too. Yes, it's very delicious. So we had Sugi and Koi, and now we will have the final one here. So, this is Junmai, uh, Junmai Sake, uh, known as Tsuya. Tsuya is the name. Kono Osake no Tokucho Nandeska, Kono Nihonga, Eko, Tokucho Gar, Osake Nandes, Shiro Ai, Kotsi Amai, Sore Nikurabe Kotsira, Tokucho Ga, Amari Nai Kotoga, Tokucho. So he was mentioning that these first two sakes have very unique characteristics. Like this one tastes like white wine. This one is very sweet. And he said the characteristic, main characteristic of his wine, Suya, is that it doesn't have a unique point like that. It is a very easy to drink, very nice sake. Hi. So I'll go ahead and try this one too. I'm just having the time of my life. I hope everybody is also able to be drinking their favorite sake along with us. Um, and we, we offered some uh, suggestions for similar sake as well. So if you're interested, please go ahead and try those out. ちなみに <laughs> I see. So it's very delicious. Um, compared to the other two, it's a little bit um, sharper, a little bit drier than the other two, which I I sometimes prefer compared to a sweet wine. Um, so I really like this one. And he mentioned just now that it's very popular among older women. So I guess I can count myself among the older women as well, because I really, I really like it. Um, so I see a question just now. It is not sold in America at this point. Um, so unfortunately, yes, it's not sold in America right now, but there are potential possibilities for it to be sent over there, but that the process is very arduous and especially in the midst of COVID, um, it might be a little bit difficult. So we tried to get some shipped over to everyone for this event, but, um, unfortunately with import costs and things like that, it can be a little bit difficult, but yeah, if you're interested in the characteristics of these, um, sake, please go to the homepage of uh, the Moto no, Moto Ui no Matsu homepage for the Ida Brewery, and they have all of the information up there. I'd like to buy all of them and drink them at home, so I might do that after this. <laughs> um, we'd really like to share them all of with all of you, but once COVID is a little bit calmer and we can welcome you here for in-person exchange events, we would love to bring you back to Higashi Ida Brewery. And, oh uh, yes, <laughs> um, and have you try out all of these sake, which once again, were this white wine sake, the koi sake, this middle sake sugi, that was very sweet and refreshing, and the final sake, suya, also very delicious, very popular among older women and one of my favorites. Hey, thank you everyone so much. And we will do a quick introduction of this room as well. Uh, we wanted to show off some of the beautiful items we have here on display in the Hiroma. So usually when you come here as a guest to try out the sake, you would enjoy a party here in this room. So,
Okay, so we'll show off these beautiful cables that we have here. Oh, I'm blocking it. <laughs> so this is the kimono that um, her great grandmother wore during her wedding ceremony here in this room. So it's very beautiful, and you can see a lot of detailing on it. Uh, so this, the main feature you can see on here are beautiful phoenixes. Um, yeah, you can see their their wings here and their colors. There are a couple of different ones on there. Yeah. Okay, so all of these um, items displayed down here were also used during wedding ceremonies, such as that. Um, also, so this right here is called an obi. So when wearing a kimono, you need an obi, which is a belt that goes around the middle part of the kimono. Very beautiful. You can see the detailing here as well. There are Matsu pine tree motifs all over it. And of course, these were both worn as a set. So you can kind of imagine that. Yes, wonderful. Arigato gozaimashita. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now we will open it up for questions from anyone if you have any. You can either put them in the chat and we will check for any that have been put there already, or you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask in person or with, with your own voice. <laughs> okay, let's see if there are any in Japan. Oh. oh, hiya. Oh, hiya, um, everybody. Oh, hiya. <laughs> hiya, Sake from Niigata. Um, oh, hey, how long, how should, how should, should we drink now or is it okay to keep it a long time? I see. Good question. So, あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、<笑> の時ってそのちょっと若々しい味わいのお酒が多いんですよねで、それを楽しむのもいいし、あのちょっと今あのおっしゃったようにすごいですね。I see. So, thank you so much for your question. Um, so you can drink sake at any point in its life. So basically, first when you buy sake, it has a very young and very refreshing flavor. Um, but you can keep it for many, many years because sake doesn't actually have um, like a, a point where it'll go oh. bad or anything like that. So you can keep it for as long as you like. And Mr. Jun mentioned that as you keep it over the years, you can kind of taste the differences as it continues to ferment and change in flavor. <sighs> so that's another um, characteristic of Japanese sake. Yeah. So go ahead, feel free to keep it as long as you like. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. How long have you had that that sake that you're drinking? Um, well, we moved back three years ago, so I can't remember. I have others too. <laughs> I see. You lived in Minata? Um, no, Yokohama. 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 Oh, see, so, I see. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I, we have a bunch. <laughs> so many I see. Thank you very much. Thank you for your question, Catherine. So, uh, where was it again? Uh, no, that um, you lived? Oh, Yokohama. Yokohama, Yokohama. So Yokohama is in the Sunday 
<laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, any other questions? Alexandra, is, yeah. is sake best consumed warm or room temperature or do you even get it cold? That's a great question. えっと、熱くのの方がいいですか ま、お客さんの方でその例えば冷やして飲んでもらったりとか常温で飲んでもらったりとか扱いにして飲んでもらったりとかこうお客さんがその飲み方を見つけてもらうっていうのが一番いいですかね。ただ、あの何て言うん
そうですねあアルコールの何度とかあのここに示していますかねあ裏裏に書いてありますね15度14度15度、ね、なるほどですね they do have a proofing system here as well just like in the US on the back they have it written here I'm not sure how this will focus、uh, maybe、ね It's a little bit hard to see. あのよく勘違いされちゃうのが、精、はい、米具合っていうのがあるんですよ。はいえー、とこちらはあのお米を削ったパーセントになります。なので、アルコールの数がこれではないです。なるほどね、アルコールの数はあくまでこのアルコール分の15度っていう。かりましたこれよく質、ね、問されるんですが。わかりました、はい。ありがとうございます。So, one point that they were making here is that they do have a percentage、um, of alcohol、uh, in the Japanese sake listed here. For this one, for example, it's 15%, 15% alcohol、um, level.、Uh, but they also have listed here the、um, percentage at which the rice was milled, the rice、um, bran was removed from the rice. And that for this sake is 65%. So that changes depending on how the sake was brewed and created. But it's easy to mix those two, two up. Yes. But they do, in fact, have the alcohol content listed as well.、Right. Okay, and I think all of these are 15, then the two, 14, and 15. Okay, 15, 14, 15 for all of these. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see, any other questions? I have a question because I was looking at my bottle about the polish rice rate, you know, the percentage. What、yes. is that?、Um, like, how does that matter, I guess, <laughs> if that makes any sense?、Um, the rice. Percentage, the rice milling percentage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ah, はい。この、あの、そうですね。生米、はい。まあ、どうやって関係が、どのような関係がありますかね。になりますで 100% に近づけば近づくほど、まあ、その一,般一般酒というか一般流通に適したお酒にあの大きく分けてなるんですがまあ,あのそんなに参考にしなくてもいいかなとは<笑>思いますけどはい。分かりましたありがとうございます。So the rice millage percentage、um, it depends on each sake、um, is depending on what percentage it's milled at it It kind of denotes the level or the quality, you could say, of the sake.、Um, so, for example, the, the lower the percentage, for example, 40% milled sake is going to be a higher quality,、um, so it's said. But、um, Jun, Mr. Jun is just saying, even if with a higher percentage milled sake, you can still enjoy it. And it doesn't change the、um, flavor so much. But in terms of how these things are standardized in Japan,、um, the higher percentage of, milled,、uh, of rice millage is kind of a more commonly seen sake, and the lower percentage, for example, 40% and lower, is going to be a higher quality or higher,、uh, more rare sake. Yeah. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yes.、Okay. Any other questions? Hi. ではあの3人兄弟からちょっとだけ自分のストーリー自分のどうやってあのそうですねあの、まあ、もちろんあの家族が長,長年あのずっとこのような日本酒を作っていらっしゃいましたけれども、はい、自分があのどうやって始まっていたのかちょっとだけストーリーをあの聞きたいかなと思いますね。So we're going to, I just ask everyone if we could hear a little bit about their story, about how they got started, how they got interested. In making the sake.、Um, of course, their family has been doing it for generations, but I thought it would be interesting to hear from the three siblings about their own personal story. So, I'm going to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me 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 として、えー、最初入ってあ、正直日本酒のこととか全然わからずに入りました。で、それが、まあ、大体もう十何年とか前なんですけど、それでだんだんこう、経験を積んでって、あのなんかだんだんこう
お酒作りってすごく面白いな、みたいな魅力にちょっとハマっちゃって、で、そこからもう、あのー、日本酒をもう作り続けていこうということを決心して、あのー、まあ、今に至ります。So, for Mr. June here,、um, he started in the sake brewery as a helper, helping out、um, creating the sake,、um, doing different odds and ends of the job here. And at first, he said he didn't know much about sake at all. He was just you know, doing the work as he went. And over time, he really developed this love and interest for the creation, the process of making sake. And so, he started actually working on that and creating sake here with his family. And now he Really loves it and is、um, doing that as you know, his livelihood. So, I got to go there. Okay, so this is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of にあのお客さんもかなりあのアニメと漫画が好きだよって方が多くてじゃあお酒作りと何かつながりができないかなと思って日本酒作りじゃあアニメソング聞かせてみようって思ったのがきっかけで<笑>じゃあまあお客さんも楽しいだろうしまあ作ってる私もアニメソングでまあ気合を入れて作るっていうことで<笑>まあお酒作りこんなような感じで頑張ってます<笑>。すごいですね。ありがとうございます。So, for Ms. Miyuki, she was telling us about she has always loved manga and anime, pop culture media in Japan, right? And so that was kind of her、uh, beginning, her catalyst, because she would go to sake events with her family and do cosplay, which is where you dress up as like a character、um, from one of those shows or、um, books, the manga books. And so she would go there and she would meet with customers who also loved anime and manga, and she connected with them that way. And then she thought to herself, how could we make a sake that has that connection to something I love, which is anime? And so she's now creating this delicious sake where she lets it listen to anime music. And she also is able to put her own feelings into it as well. So that is her story. Thank you. 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 うちにまた戻ってきてでただあの日本酒ってあの一括りじゃないですかですがあのその中にあの種類がいろいろあればあの作り方であのまた味も変わってくるんですよであのとても奥の深いものだなということであのどんどんのめり込んでいきましたすごいですねありがとうございます流通ってごめんなさい何,何ですかね流通の感じあえっ、ー、と流通ってあまああの一応商社あの物を買って物を売るっていうあの横から横への仕事だったんですはい。海外からえ、えー、っと、日本の日本の、はい、わかりました。そうですね、トランスポーテーション。はい。バンナウス。OK。So Mr. Satoshi was telling us about his story. He used to work in a transportation company, transportation of goods here domestically in Japan.、Um, and so through that lens, he was kind of able to see the sake from a product point of view. And understand that each different type had its own characteristics, its own benefits in terms of how it would sell. And so he kind of began his sake making journey through that lens. Hi. I have to go very much. The Vara Shi is there. すみません、無理やりにあの皆さんのお話し、ストーリーを、あの、すみません、素晴らしいですね。本当にありがとうございます。で、あの、時間にちょっとなりましたので、クイズを皆さんにちょっと送ります。はい。So thank you for all of your questions and thank you for participating us with us today here.、Um, we do have a, a short quiz, but I think because of time constraints right now, we will send it to everyone and you can do it on your own time. To kind of remember、uh, the things you might have learned through the tour today. That's all right with you. Hey, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for joining us、um, from Clearwater here to Japan. Arigatou gozaimashita. If there are any final comments or anything, that is great too.、Um, otherwise, Anthony, oh, one more. Oh, there is one more question I see here from Kelly.、Um, About Miyuki,、uh, sorry, so Miyuki san, is she on Instagram or TikTok with her costumes? Ah, no, no, that's me. Ah, no, Miyuki san, no, sports play, wa, Insta, to ka, TikTok, de, yate, no, no, Insta, de. She's on Instagram. She's on Instagram. Watch my photo style. Insta, no, account. So, this is Insta, no, account. If you have、uh, your Insta, so this is it. We're, we're going to get her Instagram account and put it in the chat right here. Say, most likely. Say, most likely. Okay, I'll put her, her name right here. Miss Miyuki. 
もうそこ。Hi, so she, she has pictures of her cosplay and different sake things on here as well. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for joining us.、Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to send them to、um, Water and everything. <laughs> and the, the main homepage for、um, the Hida. Higashi Ida Brewery also has an Instagram. So,、um, last but not least, I will put that in the chat as well for anyone who wants to follow. <laughs> so, that is the Instagram tag for、uh, the main Higashi Ida Brewery.、Yes. Thank you so much for joining everyone. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. And yes, thank you for taking the time to be here with us. Please come visit the Higashi Ida Brewery when you're here in Nagano next time. Thank you. Bye bye.